Hello everyone and welcome to Frame 316 Media. So if you're new in this channel, uh, feel free to look around and you will find a lot of content that is meant to help you become a better storyteller, whether you do it for social media, for your business, for your organization, or you know, just for the fun of creating content on YouTube and on social media. So a lot of the question that I keep he hearing from people is that uh, how do we make our Zoom meetings more interesting? So we all know, we are well aware that because of the pandemic, the global pandemic, um, a lot of us, if not most of us or all of us, are now constrained or we are used to working in a work-from-home environment. So a lot of those meetings, a lot of those engagement with clients and with uh, co-workers is done over Zoom. But sometimes there is a requirement, let's say it's a business presentation, that you would want something more fancy than, than the usual uh, Zoom screen. So in today's video, I'm going to share you how you can change camera view on your Zoom meetings. And it would take a bit of an upgrade, but the principle is the same. Whether you choose a different tool or not, I'm going to talk about the principle and not the tools, but just explain to you how the tools would really help you come up with more interesting visuals on your Zoom um, meetings and Zoom conferences or webinars. So stay tuned. It's coming up in today's video. The okay, first thing that I wanted to show you is the setup. So again, I'm just showing you these tools and how my own setup is built, but you don't necessarily have to have a similar setup to come up with really interesting stuff on your Zoom meetings. But you would need at least at the very minimal, you know, a switcher. So I'm, let's, let me just uh, show you what I have here. So on my left, I have this old MacBook Pro. <laughs> so I'm using this for teaching and for demonstrating. But my main machine is this iMac here in the middle that you can see right now. So I have Zoom um, set up because I'm going to be demonstrating this uh, to you later. And I have a monitor here. And what I wanted to show you is I have a camera on the left, which is a Sony ZV-1, which I use for... Uh, streaming and I have another camera on the other side which is an old GoPro actually this GoPro stopped recording a while ago I don't know what's wrong with it so I decided to check if I can convert this to a webcam so uh, in your case what can you do so if you don't have the similar cameras you can practically have you know uh, another a different camera as long as it has an HDMI clean uh, output and you can also use your smartphones and the most important thing that I want to highlight right here is just below my screen if you can see here this with um, the red light here this is a switcher so this is something that you really you know need to invest in what I'm using is a, a black magic design atom mini and you can find a lot of the other switchers uh, what the switcher will do is, as I would explain to you further on the settings, the switcher will um, function as your camera input. So it means whatever is plugged on your switcher will be detected as a camera on your Zoom meetings. Okay. So what I have here can um, accept four inputs. So you don't necessarily have to get a four input because it's the nature of my work. I need that, so I have it with me right now. But basically, if you have two or three input switcher or, you know, if you can afford those like eight input HDMI, you know, you, you can go for it. Uh, the more inputs you have, the more choices of visuals or camera view that you have on your Zoom. So right now, as you have seen the settings, if you notice in, in, in my screen, uh, I have the two cameras, the one here, the GoPro, the uh, MacBook, and the other camera here, which is the Sony camera. I have that as an input on the Atom Mini. So the other you know, thing that you see below my Kurt Cobain uh, toy is that is my audio gear. Um, 
you don't need that because uh, Zoom's built-in audio is good enough because I'm doing some recording stuff for music and fun, so I have this. Okay, now let's jump into Zoom and see how this works. Okay, jumping in very quickly on Zoom right now. As you can see on the screen, you are probably familiar with what you're seeing here. Having used Zoom for, I think, almost two years or close to two years now since the pandemic started. We are most likely every day doing our job on Zoom. <laughs> so uh, what I wanted to focus here, I'm just going to let me just zoom in a bit here. Okay, so we know that we can set up whatever camera we have. So sometimes we have uh, you know, a fancy camera, different camera that, it, that is installed. But if you're trying this for the first time, most likely you only have the FaceTime HD camera or whatever is your built-in camera for your computer. Um, don't, you know, I won't be discussing this because I just have this for testing back in the days because I, I, I did use uh, an Olympus as a webcam camera also but ever since I have this Atom Mini everything is better now okay so what you see here is Blackmagic design so this is the Atom Mini the one that I showed you a few minutes ago so what actually Zoom is doing is as I've mentioned whatever you plug on your switcher will be detected as a camera input so on this setting panel you would see like this this is my uh, GoPro the one that I showed you so let me just start a meeting right here so again you don't necessarily have to have the same setting as mine, but whatever switcher you uh, buy or you, you get for yourself, you would see the switcher here. So again, the switcher is up to you. So uh, I'm going to um, share a few links uh, on the comment section, like on the description, so you can choose what type of switcher you want. Uh, going to a new meeting right now. Let's just create a new meeting. And I'm just going to slide this to the other window okay so on the left bottom left of my screen you know this you're familiar with this you can still actually change cameras here so the idea is we're gonna change camera view not by changing the camera we're gonna change camera view by using a tool such as the black magic design to accept multiple inputs so in this case i have my two cameras and my macbook pro as an input so i'm just gonna start the video so you can see here so right now you're looking at the um gopro so on this side of my screen this is uh this is the gopro which i have i have been using as a webcam ever since it stopped recording so what i'm going to be doing is basically if I want to, you know, show something, make it more interesting, I can quickly shift to this other camera here, which is, this is my, uh, the other camera, which is the Zoni. And usually when I'm discussing, I would most likely, you know, fire up whatever I have on an external device. So it can be an iPad or in this case, my MacBook Pro. So again, anything that accepts HDMI, you can plug it on your switcher. Make sure your switcher has multiple HDMI inputs. So I'm just going to press 2 on my switcher and now you're looking at my MacBook Pro. So just, I'm just showing my website here because why not, right? Promote my own uh, website, okay? So this is what you can see. So when I'm doing a bit of an explanation on my presentation, you know, this makes it more interesting than the usual, you know, built-in built -in webcam. So other things that I can do here with my uh, machine is um, your switcher would definitely have a picture-in-picture. Picture. What, what do we mean by picture-in-picture? Picture? I can just fire up my uh, control for my Atom, which is the Atom software control. So you will see it in the screen in a few minutes. Okay, this is... Uh, the software that comes with my switcher so most likely your switcher will, will also have its own software so what i have here is i can just select camera 3 which is my mac uh, gopro as my field source okay that's that's what i did and if i go back to my zoom and enable the picture in picture there you can see oh uh, uh, you can see the the other the secondary camera here so if i want to switch you know switching to camera 3 okay so this is determining what is 
uh, on this like small thumbnail here. So let's say I'm presenting the page, right? And I can still see myself uh, on the screen, which is something that you cannot do on Zoom. And what's really fun about this is I can make my screen move wherever I want to. Okay? I can still can figure out the X and Y here. <laughs> okay. So let's say somewhere in the middle and I can really also make it bigger if I want to. So now, um, as you can see, it gives you that really fancy overlay. So let's say I'm, going, I'm presenting my website or any presentation. So usually when I create a presentation on Google Slide or Keynote, I would um, prepare for this area that I'm going to be showing my picture and uh, picture in picture screen so again let's say i'm concluding i'm just gonna turn off my picture in picture and then go back to my main camera which is my gopro and yeah that's it that's uh, that's a, a bit of the stuff that you can do so to sum up what you need is a switcher it doesn't there's a lot of switcher that you can buy online not necessarily the professional grade switchers but the idea is the switcher will help you uh, bring in more views on your zoom camera settings and uh, once you have the switcher once you have all the cameras and your computers plug in on the switcher you just use the switcher as a camera input on zoom whether you're using zoom or they're using Streamyard, or you're doing uh, youtube and as long as you have access to the camera settings then you're good to go so I hope you're excited to jump in on your next Zoom meeting and try the techniques and the tools that I've shared in this episode. So if you found any value in this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you wouldn't miss out on videos like this in the future. So uh, it's time for you to go to work. It's time for you to grow. Thank you for watching and see you on my next videos.